Hello, so what is up? It's me, JM of Carpa JM TV. And kung mapapansin nyo, sinusundan ako ng camera ko kung saan man ako pumunta. That is one of the features of PJI Osmo Mobile 2. And if you want to see more of this product, please watch the full video. DJI Osmo Mobile 2 is a 3-axis handheld gimbal stabilizer for mobile phones. It is an attractive accessory for videographers, travelers, and vloggers who primarily use their smartphones for image capture. Its dimensions are 72 by 113 by 295 millimeters, with a weight of 485 grams and battery life of 15 shooting hours under ideal conditions meaning gimbal is fully balanced. It has three motors. The pan motor at the bottom with positive negative 170 degrees mechanical range. The roll motor at the back with negative 90 degrees to positive 70 degrees mechanical range. And the tilt motor at the side with positive negative 170 degrees mechanical range. The first button is the power button. Just click on it by 10 seconds and it will power on the gimbal. The power button can also be used as the mode button in which one click can switch modes from free mode or the follow mode. The free mode lacks the camera position regardless of movement. While in follow mode, the gimbal follows your arm's movements to reduce unwanted shaking from your smartphone. The next button is the capture button, the next button is the joystick button, and the last is the zoom slider. The Osmo Mobile 2 has four types of recording, the normal mode, time lapse, hyperlapse, and the motion lapse. In normal mode, merong walk at sports mode. So as you can see sa video, mas maganda yung video gamit yung Osmo Mobile 2 kasi mas stable yung output video niya kumpara sa smartphone lang yung gamit mo. Here is a sample of time lapse taken at analog devices at around 6 pm. Here is a sample of hyperlapse. Kanina, motion lapse yung feature na pinakita ko sa intro. Ang gandang feature nito kasi sumusunod talaga yung gimbal or yung camera mo sa selected subject nyo sa screen. Overall, DJI Osmo Mobile 2 is a good gimbal for a price of almost 3,000 pesos. But it also has its limitation. One limitation na napansin ko is hindi mo siya fully marotate ng 360 degrees kasi dun sa pinakailalim ng motor niya may humaharang. The next limitation na nakita ko is for some phones na wide angle yung camera, makikita mo pa rin yung DJI Osmo Mobile 2 na part dun sa screen. So, ang ginagawa ko is, zinozoom ko na lang din yung pag-take ng videos para hindi makita. And the next limitation na napansin ko is, pag gumagamit ka ng joystick sa pag-pan at pag-tilt, smooth naman siya pero medyo mabilis yung pag-turn. So, kailangan medyo daan-daan lang din. And then, the next limitation na napansin ko is, um, 
Dun sa phones na yung charging port is nasa baba. Pag inattach mo siya sa DJI Osmo Mobile 2, maharangan niya yung cable or yung kable na pwede mong gamitin sana na pang charge dun sa charging port sa liko. And another limitation na napansin ko is mas compact or mas kayang madala yung DJI Osmo Mobile 3 kasi pwede mo siyang matupi unlike sa DJI Osmo Mobile 2 na kailangan nakalagay lang siya dun sa box para safe and secure siya. So pag nilagay mo siya sa bag mo, magagalaw-galaw mo yung motor niya. So, overall, it's a good gimbal for its price. So, if you like this video, I want you to subscribe and hit the notification bell para matune in kayo sa mga updates sa aking channel. And thank you for watching this video. Annyeong!